Brown and it won't you take me to Brown and it steamy town Brown and it won't you take me to I'm Ben Palacios and you're listening to Steamy Stories written by JC Calciano. This is Prom Night Virgin. Bailey stood patiently in his tux as his parents snapped their photos. Although he feigned annoyance at the parental paparazzi, he knew that prom pictures came as part of the deal. A star athlete at Westmore High School, his parents couldn't be prouder. With a handsome face and facial scruff that framed his powerful jawline, 18-year-old Bailey already had the striking good looks of a man. Leave the man alone, you've taken enough photos, the limo's waiting! barked his dad. He was only half-joking with his wife, since he was guilty of the same offense. Go, 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 go. Don't be home late. No drinking, Mom warned. Listen to your mother, Dad inserted. Then he leaned in and discreetly whispered into Bailey's ear, Take this money and have a good time. Don't worry what time you get in. Bailey kissed his parents on the cheek, grabbed his date's corsage, and sprinted for the limo. Inside the car... Bailey greeted his best friend Joey with a bro hug. What's up? Joey and Bailey met in kindergarten, and they've been inseparable ever since. Joey was gregarious and always up for an adventure. His family was of Italian descent and accepted Bailey as their second son. Joey was slightly shorter than Bailey and boasted a muscular body. There was no one in the school who challenged Joey. His ripped biceps and square pecs made sure of that. Every girl fantasized about being on their arms, but Teresa and Cindy won the lottery tonight. After enduring more parental paparazzi at the girls' houses, the two couples finally headed for the prom. The school's gymnasium had been transformed into an immersive spectacle, complete with mylar balloons, fragrant flowers, and flashing DJ lights. Bailey and Joey entered like Hollywood leading men at a red carpet premiere. The first song of the night was a slow, romantic ballad. Bailey held his date gently, wrapping his arms around her waist and gliding around the floor. Joey did the same. Bailey couldn't help but notice that Joey's perfectly tailored tux gave him the profile of a young James Bond. His date is one lucky girl, he thought. Joey gave Bailey an enthusiastic wink, which he interpreted to mean, in a few hours, we'll be in a motel room with these girls. Bailey returned Joey's wink with a less-than-enthusiastic thumbs-up. Bailey heard all the stories about Joey's conquests already. Joey was apparently fearless in that department. Everyone admired him. Bailey, on the other hand, although he looked like a stud, was still a virgin. The boys never kept secrets from each other, but that was one thing he never admitted to his best bud. Bailey sat down and quietly watched his friends dance. Joey's tux jacket was now off, and his tie dangled around his collar. It was clear his buddy was having a blast. Sweat started seeping through his trim dress shirt, causing it to cling even more tightly to his torso. Bailey could see why all the girls wanted him. Even sweaty, he looked sexy. The girls' parents had set a strict curfew. The prom wasn't even close to being over, but Joey knew that if they were going to get some motel time in, they'd need to leave early. Bailey met up with Joey in the men's room. (laughs) Fun dance, huh? Joey huffed, slightly out of breath from the dancing. We've got a choice to make. Stay for king and queen ceremony or leave now for the motel. He playfully punched Bailey's shoulder. Bailey knew what Joey wanted to hear, but the butterflies in his stomach wanted to give a different answer. Shouldn't we ask the girls? Bailey replied. There's no way these girls are going to want to leave. Joey sighed. (laughs) Of course. Joey wasted no time in consulting the girls. Cindy and Teresa looked at each other and giggled. (laughs) Sure, let's go. Clearly they had their answer ready. The girls grabbed their purses and nestled themselves under the arms of their dates, ready for the next part of the evening to begin. A 20-minute ride and several gin and tonics later, the couples arrived at a quaint little motel on the outskirts of town. You gals hang here. Bailey and I will be right back. Joey jumped out of the limo with Bailey in tow. The front desk clerk was a young woman in her early thirties. She was plain but pretty. Her body language made it clear that she was not to be messed with. 
Hello, my dear lady. Name's Joey. I got a reservation for this evening, he said with a flirtatious smile. With a few clicks on the mouse, she called up the reservation. Here you go. The room's down the hall next to the elevator. She slid a key across the counter. What about the other room? I reserved two rooms for tonight. No, you reserved two beds in one room. It's right here. She turned the computer screen around for him to see. She was right. Fine, then please give me another room. The clerk laughed. <laughs> you can't think you're the only two horny frat boys in this place tonight. I've been sold out for months. Bailey breathed a sigh of relief. This was his chance to make a break for it. Dude, you take the room, and I'll send the limo back to pick you up after I drop off Teresa. Two beds, two bros, not a problem. Joey turned to the clerk. Fine, we'll just take one room. He snatched up the key. Moments later, the couples were in the room. Mind if I play some music? Teresa inquired. She connected her phone to the radio Bluetooth and put on some mood music. I guess we're doing this, <laughs> Joey proclaimed. He peeled off his tuxedo shirt, showing off his muscular physique. He winked again at Bailey, whose heart either stopped or skipped a beat. He couldn't tell which. Joey swooped Cindy up in his arms and kissed her. Bailey wondered what Joey's lips tasted like. Hmm. Teresa tugged at Bailey, snapping him out of his daydream. She ran her fingers through his hair and nibbled his ear. When that didn't elicit the response she was hoping for, Teresa grabbed Bailey's hand and slipped it onto her breast to speed things along. Bailey tried to concentrate on his date, but the sounds from the other bed were too distracting. The beds were separated by only an end table with a lamp on it. The room was dim, but Joey and his date were fairly visible. Every time Bailey would sneak a peek, Joey would return his glance with a thumbs up or a sly smile and Bailey would quickly turn away, pretending they hadn't made eye contact. Bailey tried to concentrate on kissing Teresa. His concentration broke when he noticed Joey silently signaling to him. Bailey looked over to see Joey, who was leaning back with his pants open and eyes shut. Cindy busily knelt in front of him. Teresa was blissfully unaware that Bailey's bulge was for someone else. Ah, finally, someone's turned on, Teresa announced as she discovered his tuxedo torpedo standing at attention. With a mighty zip of his fly, she reached into his pants and grabbed her prize. Whoa, Bailey jumped up, his head spinning and stomach twisting. Sorry, I, I'm not feeling well. Bailey ran to the small bathroom to catch his breath and toss cold water on his face. Moments later, a soft knock at the door. Joey's voice. Bro, you okay? Can I come in? I'm fine, thanks. I'm coming in anyway, Joey replied. Joey entered, his pants buckled but still shirtless. He seated himself on the edge of the tub. You cool? Joey wrapped his muscular arm around Bailey, pulling him towards his chest. Mm, I wouldn't say it was cool. More like a dork, who just freaked out in front of the two prettiest girls in school. Oh my god. Bailey's face was flush with embarrassment. Let's go outside. You can hear everything outside this door. Plus, the cool air will help. Bailey gave a slight chuckle and nodded in agreement. It was true. When the girls were in here earlier, the boys could hear their entire giddy conversation. Bailey felt better with Joey by his side. We'll chill in the limo. There's ice in the minibar there. Joey helped his friend up and headed toward the door. We're going to take a walk, he said to the girls. Why don't you girls watch some TV? He playfully tossed the girls the TV remote on the way to the door. The chauffeur leapt out of the limo, surprised to see the two boys exit from the hotel room so soon. Joey pulled money from his wallet and handed it to the driver. Why don't you make yourself comfortable in the lobby? The driver took the 20, tipped his hat, and went inside. Inside the stretch limo, the darkened windows afforded them some privacy. Joey offered Bailey a gin and tonic. It'll settle your nerves. Bailey sipped the cool cocktail. Sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Joey laughed as he leaned back. <laughs> you just got overheated in there. Everybody's nervous their first time. Uh, me? A virgin? <laughs> yeah, right. Bailey knew lying to Joey was a terrible idea. 
But what was he supposed to do? He couldn't admit that he was still a virgin at 18 years old. Not now. Not tonight. Joey stared at Bailey an impossibly long time, then admitted, I'm cherry too, dude. No shame. Bailey scoffed. Now you're just making fun of me. Joey continued, Of course, I've let a few girls sample the sausage, <laughs> but that's about it. All those stories about me being a stud, they're just tales the girls all tell each other. Bailey wasn't quite sold. Joey delivered a lengthy gaze. Dude, have I ever told you that I had sex? You may have heard it around, but did it ever come from my mouth? Hmm, good point. He's got me there. Bailey was shocked. For the first time, suddenly, he didn't know what to say to his best buddy. You still don't get it, Joey said. I didn't want to have sex with the girls tonight. I thought that's what you wanted. I thought that's what you wanted, Bailey replied. No, nah, Bailey. I want you. Bailey's brain tried desperately to comprehend what he was hearing. You? And... And me? You and me? Man, it's always been you and me. I just wasn't sure how you'd react, if, like if you were into it. So, bro, what do you think? You down with it just being us tonight? Now? Bailey's heart raced. The words couldn't come out of his mouth fast enough. Are you kidding me? Bailey reached over and clicked the lock button on the limousine doors. I hoped that would be your answer. Joey replied as he gently grasped Bailey's face in his strong hands and pulled him close. There is no one else I'd rather lose my virginity to. Bailey couldn't agree more. Enjoy JC's writing? Then check out his new book, Revenge of the Brobot. Join the Steam Room Stories bros as one of them finds love with an amorous android while on the run from a merciless marine. Revenge of the Brobot is now available on Amazon in softcover, hardcover, hardcover, and audible. Steamy Stories is written by JC Calciano and narrated by yours truly, Ben Palacios. You can find Steamy Stories on Instagram and Twitter at Steamy Podcast. Come back next week for another Steamy Story. Later, bro.